everybody. So today we were at Brandon. This is his 97 Chaser Tour V. And he's gonna tell us about it. I'm really excited to be in a Chaser. I've always liked these cars. I feel like I'm in Tokyo Extreme Racer. <laughs> Sun Racing, uh, Nate, if you're looking to get something, shout out to him, he's really good, awesome guy to work with. But I've had this car for a little bit over a year now, and I can tell you, hands down, it's the best daily. Oh, yeah. All around, great car, Toyota reliability, four doors for more. Your username on TikTok was four doors more whores? Yes. <laughs> but, but, you know, I've got, I've got four kids, so, and I'm a big car guy, so in order for me to get something that's enjoyable, reliable, and a lot of fun, this this fit the bill. You know, it's got the inline six, one JZ with turbo, so God's motor, basically. Yeah. Pan's God's motor. One of the best sounding inline sixes. It's so good, dude. I know y'all can hear that, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
let them know. You gotta let them know what I'm working with over here. God. This thing sounds amazing. I know. It's, it's so damn addicting. Like, that's why I don't even care how fast the damn car is. I, you know, got it for the pure fact of how it looks, the room. Yeah. I mean, I it, it's, it's not slow. I mean, it's, it's no. quick. It's quick for what it is. Even, I mean, that whole gentleman's agreement, right? The two seven, 276 horsepower cap yeah. that they had for Skylines 2. It's like, uh, they butchered that. Oh, yeah. They're like, yeah, we're at 276. No, no, no. Way. no. I mean, I, over, what do you th I, I know this car's never been on a dyno, but what do you think it makes? Probably. Dude, I'm dirty or something. Yeah, a little bit, probably a little bit under. Like I, yeah. I have a manual boost gauge on it right now, so and I'm pushing like 15, 16 pounds, so it's it's up there. Oh, okay. Well, not like up, up, but yeah, yeah. I would say closer to the 330 mark. Right. And because it's older, you know, you don't have all that weight from all the new tech and shit. Yeah. So exactly. It's it's uh it's still a light car even though it's kind of big. Yeah. I mean, like, it's a boat, but yeah, it's a boat, but like even your Mustang, I think it's almost. Like maybe lighter than the Mustang? Because what's yours rated at? I mean, mine's got a little bit of weight reduction, but mine's oh, probably yeah, about 32, 33. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, I'm probably a little bit less than that. I, yeah. I'll, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure this car's a little bit lighter than that. I just remember playing Tokyo Extreme Racer when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and seeing the Chaser in there, I'm like, the Tour V, I'm like, damn, that thing's badass. Like, and then seeing it in like Gran Turismo yeah. and things like that, I've always loved the Chasers. And that's the thing too, like when people, you don't know that about the car or you're like, oh no, I'll take this car for that. It's it's a game changer once you actually get in the car. Then it's like, all right, I get it now. Like it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Like to the average person, I mean, this is just a Camry, like you yeah. said, it's what people think it is probably, you know? One thing I've always thought was hilarious in these cars, they have oscillating vents or swing vents. I hope you can see that in the camera, but you can actually see them back and forth they're just sitting there doing this i think that's so hilarious by the way i love the uh hk steering wheel i know i told you that before yeah but you gotta and, match it with the shirt and then I, I had to match it dude because <laughs> i knew you had the hk steering wheel and yeah. i'm like i love the hks little oil slick yes. whatever they call it you yeah. know I'm a big fan of that man it's so it's so 90s dude uh i love I love going back to that. Like I, I thought about doing, you know, the the pod gauges all on the dash. Yeah. Some of them just like say screw it, or they put it all. They they put they cut out the damn dash and put them all right there. A lot of chasers you see the park re uh, park reverse, neutral drive, and all that on there. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it used to be auto, obviously. But yeah, because I know I see that a lot. I used to see that a lot on chasers, and I was like, why do they have that on there still? But then come to find out most of them are converted to manual originally an auto car that's converted uh before i got it uh to a five-speed r154 but there was still quite a bit of manual versions made which that market as well is a lot higher right like i still have the auto trim on this area right here oh okay because like with the manual you would get the uh just the two buttons up here and that was it I think this one's really clean, a really clean example of one. And I had a blast, dude. I think you uh, have a badass ride here. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you so it. so much, bro. Thanks for coming out, bro. Yes, sir, man. So we see you guys in the next video.